the summer heat makes it hard to want to exercise outside unless you can take your workout to the pool. From the pool to the lake, really. Today we are sharing fun ways to exercise in the water. Studio 5 fitness contributor Emily Nelson joining me with some ideas. This is so smart on so many levels. Our routines are just off during the summer, right? It's not as predictable. Yeah. You can't count on the gym time like you can during the school year. So take it to the fun. Yeah, and it's so hot. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. Because I don't know if you're like me, but typically... It's not that I don't want to get in the water, but I'm like a cat. Like, I don't like cold water. <laughs> My kids always make fun of me. And, you know, maybe it's not hair wash it's like day. like a cat. No, seriously, I'm always like, I want to get in the water, and I'm like, oh, it's kind of cold. <laughs> so I'm really challenging everybody today that we are actually going to get in the water. But I promise you, it is such a good workout. It's yeah. so much fun. And it feels so good. Like, we always talk about exercise endorphins. Getting in the water and, like, submersing your body in the water, it, like, gives you that, like, oh, this feels so good. Okay, so you've spoken to all the cat ladies out there get in the water you're gonna like it's you're, me you're gonna you feel like good to get in the water like when you go to the pool with your kids you always like, I mean get in. I think out of necessity I just accepted you're right they're you little, have little so I gotta get in yeah. but I can see where you get that point where you're like don't my brother-in-law always makes fun of me he claims I've known him forever he claims that there was a moment when I said don't splash me I don't want to mess up my hair yeah. I don't remember saying that I'm, I've, I'm sure I've said that. but on the hair wash days you can appreciate yeah. a comment like yeah. that can I get a, an efficient workout like is a water workout going to check the same box that a gym workout can Okay, so I'm here to tell you, my friends and I, we did this. Like, we went full in, we got in the water, and my friend and I, who go to the gym every day, yeah. were sore the next day. So I'm telling you, it is a very okay. effective workout that just challenges your body in a completely different way, and okay. it's so, can be just as. I would say, I wouldn't say, like, better or less, that it can be just as effective if you're moving your body. I always say, you know, it's good to move your body. And yeah. so we had so much fun. I okay. learned so much, and it was great. We're going to start at the pool, and you say, yeah. don't overlook something as simple as just treading water. Yeah, so the, the thing is, the second that you step in water and you submerge your body, you become weightless. So anyone who's dealing with back injuries, knee injuries, any yeah, sort of thing, or pregnancy. even if you're not pregnancy, <laughs> yes, you become weightless and you're able to move and use that water as resistance in a way that maybe the aches and pains of on land aren't aren't going to be good for you. Don't allow you to. So my friend Shelly, I call her like an expert treader. I don't know if she has like super skills or something. So I went to her and she taught us like the trip, the tips of treading water. Oh, Shelly. But listen, she can do it for like hours. Oh my gosh. And we were three minutes in gasping for yeah. air. Like oh, I'm not going to lie. It's hard. It is hard. Yeah. So there's a couple different ways. So like one technique that I prefer is like the bicycle legs. So okay. you can do your bicycle legs. You can go like out or you can do like paddling your legs this way uh -huh. and it's like whatever works for you and then I find like the arm move this is weird right I'm saying yeah, yeah. you got to keep it moving and like consistent fluid. like a fluid movement so you don't want to I feel like this isn't going to work yeah but as you keep your legs in like the bicycle and this and then also like engaging your so core, to your point you're moving almost every muscle you're moving every that muscle works through your torso and yeah. you are tired like yeah. it's really not easy I'm and thinking of the people at the gym right now yeah. watching us with the sound off and we're doing this <laughs> I know they're like interpretive mm -hmm. dancing they want to listen I know they want to listen yeah. <laughs> you say if you need a flotation device, that still counts. Yeah, so that's the thing is, like, if you want to stay out there for an extended pound of time, like, honestly, after five minutes, I'm kind of dying. So you can grab, like, a floaty in one thing. They have those specific ones if you're somewhere where you can get one, if you're going to do this regularly. Like a waistband. A waistband that can keep you kind of up there while st still getting it. You can also use a flotation device, and you can put it behind you and lift up so you're, like, parallel with the water. So you're using your core. Oh, yeah. And you're kicking and, oh, yeah. like, fluttering. Like a noodle. Yeah, like a noodle back and forth. Or you can lay over it and same thing kind of kick using your core and your legs and Love your it. glutes to kick around. Okay, you've got a few exercises that we can use the kids as yeah. weights for. First, a leg extension, a poolside leg extension. Yeah, so the thing is, if you don't want to get all the way in the water, this is another one. You hair wash cat lady. You can sit on the side. Oh, also, all these workouts, technically, you could have like a hat and not get your hair wet. <laughs> okay. Because we all know swimming is such a good workout, yes. right? But that's the goggles and the hair yeah. net. Yeah. I wanted to find things that like you can literally do while you're playing She's a with girl's your girl. kids. She thought of it. So kids on your leg yeah. and lifting. Okay, you're, they're gonna hold on. So it's almost like a leg extension. They're gonna yeah. hold on to your legs. They need to be in the water so they're not touching and then you're gonna re lift Whew. up your legs to a max Whew. quad extension and then we got and then, pulls and then pulls okay 
choose wisely what kids you're using. I wouldn't advise over the age of five or six because if they're heavy. Actually, I don't think Penny will make the cut. Yeah, yeah. I don't think my three-year-old will make the cut. No, yeah. So you're going to like grab onto them and then you're going to lift. So you're, you don't want to like throw anything out. So you're yeah. going to keep that core tight and then you're going to lift. And tight. just a segment ago, we talked all about the muscles and the arms, all that. You are working all the way through yes. your traps and your lats and your shoulders and you're going to lift them up. And they thought it was they so fun. It. They thought it was so fun. You're the fun pool mom. Yes. And the exercise pool mom. Well, that's the thing is as we started doing these, you can also do like push-ups on the side, sure. triceps, all those things. Sure. As we started doing these, the kids wanted to join in. And I think that's what's fun is like this healthy movement and showing them that movement can be fun yeah. while you're also kind of moving your body. But like I said, my friend and I, we go to the gym every day. We were sore the next you day. You felt it. She was like, I cannot lift my arms from treading water. So it's just so good. All right, one minute left. Let's take yeah. it beyond the pool. You can get exercise at the lake by paddle boarding. That's yeah. a workout. Paddle boarding is a workout. And the thing that's cool is right off the bat, balance is the first thing to go as we age. And so just even getting on there. But if you're like, there is no way I will stand on a paddle board. I will fall into the lake. First of all, who cares if you're ready to get wet and have fun? But there's different ways. You can do it on your knees. You okay. can do it from a seated position where yeah. you're kind of engaging those hip flexors as yes. well as your core. And you're rowing side to side. You can get on your knees or you can stand up, which is less of an upper body workout, yeah. but more of like a core as you're standing. We own a paddle board. I've never even tried it. You got to do it. Put I, okay. the kids on it. Okay. Put the kids on it and even sit down. I find on my knees, I get like, they start to hurt. Achy. Yes. So I will kind of switch positions and you like, it works full body. Because once okay. again, you're engaging the core and all of that. Kai Kayaking major list. Kayaking. That's the same type of muscles. You're just in a more like seated, you know, not stable position. Yeah. And then my fan favorite. Go for it. Wake surfing, all that. If you have Surfer access girl. to a boat. I love it so You're much. So good. I wish I should have included a video You're so of good. me jumping in the water <laughs> because my family records me every single time because I scream bloody murder every time I jump in the water. I love all that we're learning about but you. But it's so worth it because I, my calves will be burning, my yes. quads the next day, even if you fall, because people will be like, I can't do that, I can't stay up. Yeah. Even if you fall, the act of trying and getting up and trying, you're working every muscle in your body and you're sore in places that you didn't. And functional movement is what we're aiming for every right. time I'm on here functional movement that can last us through the generations of time. That will keep our bodies healthy yes. and allowing us to do yeah, what we want to do. Yeah, we want to do this as we yeah. age, we want to do these things. And things, we can find movement in everyday activities. All right, I'm motivated. I love okay. thinking of women at the pool, kind of seeing yes. other women doing these exercises and knowing we're in it together. Sister, thank you so much. Thank you.